The Satanic Temple celebrates its first symbolic Satanic monument on public property. Okay, this is state property, y'all. Let's bring it in. On, uh, sorry, in two, uh, eh, let me start. In 2019, the Supreme Court ruled in American Legion versus the American Humanist Association that displaying the so-called Satanic Peace Cross on public land does not violate the Establishment Clause of the U.S. Constitution. Lucian Greaves, the Satanic Temple's spokesman and co-founder, stated that, quote, deciding that the Baldensburg cross does not just represent Christians, but people of all faiths, including Satanists, Satanists is blasphemy that is consistent with Satanism. Uh, the Satanic Temple, or TST for short, has a long tradition of helping its military members in which this cross is memorializing. Well, while Bell Plain, Minnesota was the first city to establish a satanic monument in the country, Baldensburg, Maryland is the first city to have the first satanic temple designated a uh, monument on state property. Whoops. Sorry, my computer. Hail here. Satan? Yes. I thought, oh man, I wish Armin hadn't gone because i want to scroll down to show off the cross um oh. it's really cool because the satanic temple is talking about how they're hoping that this can be like a um symbol of basically a site of pilgrimage for satanists in many ways um there it's it is. 40 There's feet a cross. tall <laughs> look at this thing it's so big um and let me find the quote. Um, the Satanic Temple will refer to the memorial as the Baldensburg Satanic Peace Cross. We expect the celebration of this satanic icon to be a reoccurring event. And we will encourage Satanists everywhere to make pilgrimages to Baldensburg. Outside of Salem, Massachusetts, we expect Baldensburg will become internationally known as a, a destination for Satanists. So Wait, this is the, I, this is like the Medina. This is like the Medina of the Satanic Temple. I wish they could have used their Baphomet statue though instead of their right. uh, the cross, but whatever. Wait, why do they have a cross? I didn't know they have crosses at the Satanic Temple. What's the point? Upside what, down this, crosses usually. This is not upside down. I this know. Right I'm, I don't know. So what's the what? I don't. There's a is, pentagram in the middle of it. I know, but why? Oh, would... I think oh, it's because the God. judge ruled that crosses are a cultural symbol for all. There was a ruling on this in Missouri, I think, about the co crosses being a cultural symbol, not necessarily a religious symbol when you're talking about. So why not an upside down cross? They should have done an upside down cross. I'm wondering it's... if maybe the cross is just the thing and they add their little pentagram to every cross because it's supposed to be a cultural symbol. I think symbol. if the judge specifically said that crosses are cultural thing in the United States and not just religion, he didn't say which side up. <laughs> he didn't say crosses that are left to right, right to left. Let, let, let me say something. Let me finish my point. It would have been so amazing if they were like, okay, you want crosses? We have crosses. We have up, satanic upside down crosses. But I don't know, like, how is this satanic? It just looks very 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 christian to me but yes rifka you want to say something no i was just saying i want to be clear that this wasn't necessarily a maryland judge that it that it that suit was in missouri over some crosses at a war memorial so that this judge said oh they're not they're not <laughs> religious they're Tyler is saying the construction workers put it up the wrong way maybe like because they like they looked at the blueprint and they were like this can't be Right, I think so. The people who no, are building it are like, the, yeah, go ahead. So part no, of it's the joke, I, you just you ruined Tyler's joke. It was pretty good. Okay, go ahead. Um, so part of what this is is that this was a monument that was already existing as mem war memorial, and mm. that um there was contention over whether the government should be working to maintain this memorial and if that violates the establishment clause. And so when the court ruled that it this is a government-owned property and 
this doesn't violate church and state um, because this memorial has become de-Christianized and has come to represent veterans of all faiths. And so under that rationale, it has become a symbol of just the mere human loss and not necessarily of a Christian religious tradition. This is, this is the rationale. So running with that rationale, the Satanic Temple announced that they are adopting the cross as a monument to Satan and Satanic veterans. How do they do that? So, I mean, that's impressive, but it's not their, like, how did you, how do you adopt a, a monument? This is a good question. Well, because they're just, they're saying that if the if the state is arguing that this is a secular monument, then Lucian Greaves says deciding that the Baldensburg cross does not just represent Christians, but people of all faiths, including Satanists, is the kind of blasphemy that is consistent with Satanism. And so they are that's one of the reasons for why I, they are taking this on. Wait, this is this is a bit too impressive. I don't know how they managed to get away with it. They're like, okay, you get to keep the cross as long as we satanize it, and the the state was like, okay. No, they're they're like claiming ownership. <laughs> they're saying if this is a secular but how do you monument, do that? Then we can take how, did they, did it. they just give it to them? No, I don't think I don't think it's literal legal ownership so much as oh. they are spiritually adopting it. Yeah, they just uh, decided to say, okay, well, then we'll have a cross as a Satan's symbol. Wait, it's symbol. just make-believe. They just were like, that monument of doors, yours there, that's ours? Like, just like just saying it? Like, this is just just claiming it like that? Yeah. Okay. Well, in that case, and he says I it's will adopt. No, wait. I'll, will Atheist Republic adopt? Mm, what do we adopt in the United States? the can you guys find a monument for us the white house the atheist <laughs> republic <laughs> the <adopt>. moon <laughs> we're going to the moon no we adopt we as the atheist republic here officially are adopting the white house as an atheist Medi mecca go and do your uh program uh, like atheist pilgrimage towards the white house go do seven circles around it record yourself and send it to us it's okay. a symbolic takeover so what i think though when that's he made that said. point about it's blasphemy and keeping with it i think that's the point he's making is that they're saying a cross isn't a religious symbol and he's saying you saying that is blasphemous so therefore we can adopt that because we agree with this right 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 well actually actually i want to adopt the headquarters of the satanic temple for atheist republic <laughs> that's what i'm doing we're going to Come spiritually the adopt temple. their headquarters <laughs> yes we atheist republic is now spiritually adopting the satanic temple taking over their headquarters <laughs> <laughs> We just announced it. Right. <laughs> no, but what's going to be cool is to see how it pans out when they make this a site of their pilgrimages. This is now a, a pilgrimage site for them and how that pans out with the right. city. See, that's what they have. That's, this, this, They're doing this only works if your followers <laughs> actually... This only works like if you could announce it, but it only works if you have dedicated followers that will go actually do pilgrimage oh, or something. They'll so do that's it. why I'm saying Atheist <laughs> Republic followers. They, I know they they can they can do this. So Atheist Republic followers, I want you, if you are in a Satanic Temple near you, I want you to go into the Satanic Temple as an official member of Atheist Republic and say that this is now an official holy ground for Atheist Republic, and that's I'm here to do my rituals okay just tell them that uh we sent you okay and that's oh, good because no. the satanic no wait wait they're doing they're going in peace I, i'm pretty sure the satanic temple will be welcoming them and would be happy that more people are going to their temples because of us just tell them who sent that you so that they get to so that they know about atheist republic as well go and spread the word okay spread the good news Unfortunately, we um, oh, speaking of satanic temple and spreading the word and all this stuff, I met a guy who told me he was in a mixed marriage because he's Jewish and his wife is a member of the satanic temple. And so they had a mixed um, denomination wedding. 
half Jewish, half satanic temple. That's so amazing. Wait, no way. Really? That is so cool. Yep. He's like, I'm in a mixed marriage. <laughs> half satanic, half Jewish? That is so bad. That's the most badass thing I ever heard in my whole life. That is so cool. No marriage will be as cool as that marriage ever. I wonder, <laughs> is that is anybody recording this? Is it going to be public somewhere? Send me the oh, you're you're mute. Mute. They already got yeah. married. I mean, maybe they recorded it. I didn't see it, but I heard about it from wow. other people. And then um, the rabbi That's down true. the street had a party, and she was telling me about it. And then he, I ended up, you know, I knew the, who the guy was, and then I ended up meeting him, and he said, yeah. Mixed marriage. Wow. All right. That is the that is the coolest thing I heard all day. Hey, guys. If you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.